the Trevolini machine or Mamba is a great device which is polyphasic and give you the chance to go in different layers of the skin with multiple modes and can also give a you know pedal free operation with a, a smart react function it has and you can monitor everything the speed of the procedure the amount of time the uh, number of extraction attempted we can uh, go to different uh, phases so this bottom part shows you what rotation or oscillation or uh, vibration we are using. So if I'm clicking here, the first thing you can see is, is rotation. You can go on this, you can change the rotation level to like 100%, 80%, or 30%. So that's the speed of rotation of the, the engine that you want to choose. You can also choose what kind of time frame you're looking at. So the time frame I have here set up could be like 100 milliseconds or it could go up to like 4, 400 milliseconds or even all the way up to 2000 milliseconds for special cases. So for example, I want to go inside the skin and I want to go with rotation on the very superficial layer of the skin and cut the skin, uh, cut through the most uh, tough part of the skin. So I'm going to put this on 100 millisecond and I'm going to go on uh, hundred uh, you know percent for uh, the speed of the engine and then when I'm passing the first layer of the skin I want to go to the lower layer which is like loose fat and I don't I don't want to use my sharp because the deeper I go the higher the chance is to do transaction so I add a mode here so my next mode I would like it to be oscillation so the oscillation I want to go with 80% speed of the engine and I want to change the uh, degree of oscillation to 120 degrees so it goes 120 degrees back and forth and that's what can get me through the skin to the to the looser uh, layers of the speed so now I want to give this like 200 milliseconds so we have 100 millisecond rotation 200 millisecond oscillation when I, I get deeper I still want to be more conservative I don't want to risk any damage to my, my the, the, the end of my follicle. So I add another mode and I use uh, vibration. I just want the tip of my my uh, the punch to vibrate to go through that layer. And I give another 200 millisecond to that. So this is good to go. So when I start the machine, the machine cut through the uh, more superficial layers of the skin with uh, rotation and then oscillation and, and the end at the end with the vibration the machine has the handpiece that is equipped to a suction device that you can get connected to suction and as you cut through the skin the suction can pull the graft in so you can um, adjust the angle of the graft and that can help you to have better quality grafts and uh, you have the time of the procedure shown here how much has it been uh, you know elapsed since you started the procedure you have the number of uh, you know, attempts or har 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 harvest you have. And in addition to everything else, you have a smart react function. The smart react is when you want to get the machine going for the graphs when you touch the skin. So you don't want to just keep using a pedal and you want to make the system realize when the time is for it to start rotating or oscillating or whatever you're setting up the system. So when I'm activating the smart react, the system knows what to do. So basically, the moment that the tip of the punch uh, you know, touches the skin, the Smart React can get activated or you can plan it to go with different timing. For example, you can put zero timing, so zero millisecond after touching the skin. But you want to have time to adjust your tip, you want to center it, you want to know where you're going, you want to go to like 100 millisecond. So that a Smart React tells me that when you touch the skin, you have 100 millisecond for the rotation in this mode to get started. So you have that all set up.